It's a project for people with learning difficulties, which is a really, really broad category. That could be anybody who's got a physical disability, somebody who's got learning support needs, somebody who's got mental health problems. But we have an open door policy because if we think about learning support needs and ourselves, each of us really have learning support needs, so it's a very, very open door. I feel really good when, I, when, I, when I've been here for the day because I feel like it's sort of, I'm giving something to the environment. We work in a really supportive way. The gardening has a real strong therapeutic base to it and it's all about passing on really strong work skills but bringing up people's sense of self-worth and pride in what they do. So a lot of our team members here, this is what they come and they do every week to an extremely high standard. So the change in people is dramatic. We think it has a real value to the people who work here. What I've been doing, laying it off the path. I was a shadow. I didn't believe in myself. I had no direction. I didn't know what to do with myself, how to be proud of myself. Hated myself. I was lost for an end since coming back. I like the person who's looking back at me in the mirror. My life was wasted away in the bottom of a bottle. But now I'm being a father again to my daughter. You know, this is something I thought I would never get back. This is not just about gardening. This is about self-belief. It's about being part of something because we help each other. You know, we lift each other up, we spur each other on, we give us that sense of belief. And I do I feel like I belong now to something and uh, now my life's coming back to me and it's making me feel great. This is Paul Leach. Come here to do some gardening, learn a bit about what's got, sir. What's at home? Do nothing before I come here. So I need some something to do and I've been planting willows. Meet new new friends and new people to work with. Yeah, I like it, yeah, yeah. I'm Alan Blackburn, the owner of Lancaster Leisure Park, who provide the land free to fork for for this outstanding project. Last week, Robin showed me how you can pull like horseradish a root out of the soil, strip the uh, skin off the radish, and then grate it finely, uh, soak it in water, add a uh, mustard powder, then salt and pepper and some double cream. Mix it together and you make horseradish. It tastes great. I've only tried a little, but we're going to share it today and have it for lunch with our sandwiches. Yeah, it'll be a good feeling. This is Andy. I've been sort of mental health problems for quite a long time, just sort of spending a lot of time on my own in the house and not really having much to do. And it was just like an opportunity to get out of the house and be doing something constructive and outdoors, which I like. I think it sort of seems to help me to come here and, and it's a really beautiful place. This is Ian. I do find it very valuable. I love coming here because of the support that I get for different projects um, and for the, um, the, the friendship and the socialising of the group. There's a legacy to be left behind, isn't there? If there ever comes a point where the project ceases, there will still be a forest garden. We've got a really strong, thriving Facebook site now. Um, we have a lot of followers on that, which is great. Visitor numbers are, are, are hugely increasing, and it's something we support, so, yeah, it's wonderful. One of the things that we really like about this is because there is a sense in which we grow plants and grow people. Mm -hmm.